Okay, now I teach you how to install the UV control box. This is the back side of the UV control box. So first we take we find the water tube at the left right side of the machine and install the water tube to the in port and output out port. These two water tubes you can install to any position. And we find out like the control single port cable from the machine. And you can see this is this a mark is bend mark on the top of the cable and this port also have a mark here and we put this small cable to ES insert and fasten the belt fasten the screw and then we find another UV lamp cable this is the top is for vanish UV lamp and bottom is for the color and white print head UV lamp so on these two cables we have a mark on each cable and please do not install with wrong position or the UV lamp we are not working well and also we can see the band shape here and we put here fasten the screw this and another cable for the big UV lamp, left UV lamp, and fasten the screw. And this is the power power port, power supply port for the UV UV control box. And please pay attention to the voltage marked here, AC 220 voltage. So if you but you may you you can support only 210 voltage. You need to be sure of them. To match with the UV box voltage and install the cable to the UV lamp UV box after we be sure all the cable and water tube are connect where we can power on the UV control box We move to the front of the box, and this is the general power switch. We power down, and from the top, we can see this is the water feeding core. Inside, we must put the water because the UV lamp we are use work the UV lamp at the both side of the carriage. The temperature will be rising doing printing. So we need to use the water cooling system to reduce the working temperature of the UV lamp. So we need to fill water to the tank. And be sure, do not, do not put too much water. You need to load about two thirds of the total volume. And we must be sure the water will go back to the water tank. Up that we cover close the cover so we install the also we need to check if any position if any position connection of the tuber is leaking water or not we need to check for each position and also the water tube at the boss's left and right side of the carriage to be sure the water will not leaking out